All right, so we just created a video scene in Unity with a 2D video. Um, really quickly, I want to swap out uh, this 2D plaza for a 3D plaza to show you how that's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my 2D plaza here, and I want to change this video clip. So I'm gonna go down to my videos and I'm gonna grab my 3D Plaza and drag that in here. Now, things might get a bit wonky as I hit play because I did not update the texture or the skybox for this 3D format. So there's all sorts of uh, crazy uh, stuff that kind of makes you dizzy. So uh, let's fix that. Uh, my target texture right now is set to my test texture. Um, let's take a look at that. Uh, the test texture, this we can actually keep the same, right? It has the same, well, let's check actually. Uh, we need to see if that size is the same for the 3D video. So I'm going to go down to 3D Plaza. There we go. View the source info. And yeah, it is the same pixel size here. So we can use the same test texture if we want. And all of this, we can keep the same. Now what we need to change is we need to change the material that the texture is rendering to. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another material. Okay. Go to the skybox panoramic shader here. I'm gonna drag my test texture. And now this is where I wanna select that 3D layout. It's over under. There we go. Now we can see that format. So I already went over this briefly, but I just wanted to reiterate how that works. Um, I'm just gonna drag my new material here. And now this looks right. Um, and we won't be able to uh, see it in action right here in the editor, but when I plug in my VR headset and I play, I will notice a slight difference. I'll notice that I'm seeing something slightly different on the left eye than on the right eye. All right, so we just covered how to use the video player right here. We covered um, how to use the panoramic shader and went over the difference between 2D and 3D video. So now we have a video scene and we want to add some interaction. And if we go up to our scenes in our project window, uh, you can see I've already created a few scenes for us to look at. So I'm gonna just go ahead and save this guy. And we have a 2D lookout scene. Let's load that up on play. This plays a 2D video of a nice lookout. All right. And then we have a 3D home interior. This is going to play back a 3D scene here. Okay. Uh, quite, we can't really see it because um, I'm not using the VR headset right now. We have a 3D lookout and a 3D waterfront. Let's play the 3D lookout. So you'll notice when I loaded up the 3D lookout scene, it was still showing the old texture. Oh, actually, this is odd. The video clip is missing. Let's fix that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we have one last scene here, the 3D waterfront. But we're gonna see the same thing here, where when I load up the new scene, I'm still seeing the old video, and that's because I need to hit play to retarget the texture because a lot of these videos are just using the same texture. They're the same size. There's no, there's no point in creating um, different textures for all the videos. Uh, so once I hit play, 
the texture will be rendering the proper video in the scene, which is this nice waterfront scene, waterfront video. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, how to use UI and scene management to switch between the videos. To do that, I'm gonna open up my main menu editor scene here. And this is just a scene that I created to show you how to use UI and interaction directly in the editor. We'll get to the VR interaction specifics in a few minutes. So what's important here is this main menu manager script. So my main menu contains uh, some options of places that I can visit in Montreal. So I can go to the house. We've seen that. That's the 3D home interior. I can go to Mont Royal. I think I labeled that as lookout point because that's what it is. And we can go to the waterfront. Here I have a couple different parameters that need to be filled in my menu manager script. I've already filled them here. Uh, I have buttons in the scene and that is an array that contains, uh, like it sounds, all of the buttons um, in the current scene that could uh, lead to open a new scene. So I have three buttons that can open new scenes. Uh, option one, option two, and option three. So let's select these down here. Option one, all right. It is a UI object with this button component on it. It's really important that it actually has the button component on it because my main menu manager is looking for game objects of that type button. Um, and then I have option two right here. And this is just the UI. So there's nothing in this main menu that um, has to do with the videos themselves. Uh, that's gonna be under the video manager uh, section, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, so it's just important to note that these need to be buttons here. Uh, I'm just using some text mesh pro text to label the buttons. I have Mont Royal, and then I have a third button here. Um, and if you look on the button script, you can see that there's a normal color and a highlighted color that's pretty standard so that the um, button highlights when my mouse goes over it. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We have the three buttons. Um, and then I actually include what the menu object is itself. So I'm using the main menu manager as a container to hold my menu, uh, which is all of the UI components here. And that's because we'll take a look at the script and we'll see that I might want to toggle on and off my main menu. Um, when you're watching a video, you might not want the menu in your face. So you have the option to toggle, off, toggle it off. Then I have a parameter for uh, playing and pausing my video. And then there's um, a string option for Oculus menu toggle. Um, and it's labeled Oculus menu toggle, but it could actually be um, any controller menu toggle. Um, and we'll get to this more in the VR interaction portion of the session. But basically that's the button that would toggle on and off the menu. Okay, so let's take a look at what this menu manager script is actually doing. 